All right, guys, good boy 32 here. Check it out. We're sitting in the home office, man. You want to talk about a hell of a week. We took the, uh, what do you call it, the high-speed low-drag build out with the uh, Trijicon ACOG using ACSS reticle. Absolutely magical. We're going to be putting a video out about that here in a few minutes. I'm not going to do a review on the optic. There's a lot of reviews out there. But what I'm doing is a demonstration of the ACSS reticle and how it relates to hitting targets out the distance at known distances at uh, 100, 200, 300. I skipped the 400, went to the 500, but it was banging and banging. All right, so one of the things I wanted to do in this video was clarify the whole BCG series that we're doing. First of all, I like to appreciate I appreciate everybody who's making comments. There's a guy named uh, Instructor Chad. He has a YouTube channel where he does a lot of testing and uses a lot of pin gauges to uh, take a look at a BCG and see if it's in spec. I think that's a really cool video. The couple things that I, and I've watched almost all of them, learned a lot, but one of the things I wish he would do, and I know why he does, he does not share uh, the sizes of his gauges. Uh, and I think that's cool. You take a BCG, let's see if it's within spec, and if it is, that's good. If it's not, so, it, it, but you're going to have a hard time finding a lot of BCGs unless they have just been terribly machined any good quality BCGs out of spec. And there are tolerance differences between companies. Now, a lot of people mentioned that there was only three or four companies that actually tooled the carriers the, and the bolts uh, and a couple other ones, pieces. And they're right. And we're going to follow on that. Right here is a key carrier or a key, whatever you want to call it, BCG uh, gas key, it! and this is unfinished. And this was handed to me by a gentleman named Gary Huffman up there in Denver, North Carolina. Now, the cool thing about uh, some of the things of the comments is I do read them all. As a matter of fact, I respond to the majority of the folks. If, uh, a lot of people asked about cryptic coatings. Why is it not in there? And I'm just like, you know what? I because I haven't honestly reached out to them. There's a lot of manufacturers that they want to be in here. That's cool, but I only have so many resources and dollar amounts that I can spend on these things. One of the things you're not going to find are piston driven. We're not going to do that. Uh, another thing you're not going to find are nine millimeter B bolts. And I don't know. This is a bolt. This is not a carrier. This whole thing is considered a bolt. Uh, but I did reach out to uh, Gary of Cryptics Coating on a chaotic K9 HB Razor. Uh, He's one of the guys, JB Razor, I'm sorry. <laughs> He's one of the guys a long time ago who told me about cryptic, coding, cryptic coatings. So I sent Gary Huffman an email and, and you know what? Lo and behold, he's right down the road from my house. So I went over to his shop and he set me down and gave me a lesson on how they do things. It's a machine shop and it's absolutely incredible and they do coatings. And uh, I built this guy from the ground up and learned a lot from Gary. Now, Gary, if you're watching this video, I greatly appreciate it. But everybody asks, why are you, don't you have cryptic coatings in there? And man, he was ready to go. He's wanting to compete on this thing. And I think just because I built this one, I think he's got something special planned that he's going to do. He said, I'm going to put a competitor in there. I was like, all right, man. But in any case, uh, what I want to do, because he sat me down, he showed me what is the difference between a $89 BCG and say a $250 BCG? And we're going to talk about that. Uh, again, one of the things that I wanted to tell everybody, so I'm going to put in a link down below. This is the M16 drawing set, which includes all the dimensions and all the specifications on a mill spec bolt carrier group, all those sizes and dimensions and holes and all the other stuff. It's in there. So down the road, we might just go ahead and pin gauge every one of the openings and holes in this thing. Is it something that I'm going to do in this series? No, because that is not what this series is designed to do. We're going to be talking about coatings. We're going to talk about different styles. What's the benefit of these styles? Why, why are we going to be looking at a, a semi-auto bolt versus a full auto bolt? And yes, sir, that's what they're called. M16 bolt versus a semi-automatic bolt, lightweight bolt carriers. Uh, We'll talk about manufacturers, uh, who makes them. There is, like you said, like four or five different manufacturers out there. But I will tell you this, man, it was interesting to find out what the difference are. So we're going to talk about torque specs as well, because there's some people out there who are wrong on their torque specs. Let's see what else we have, but that's it. But check out the link below. Uh, I think you'll find out it's pretty interesting and go through those plans. 
It's a PDF file. If you can download a PDF file, you're going to do well, but it'll tell you a lot of the information, and it's always good to look at the history. Uh, let me go ahead and here and pull this up. So right here, this is for the ejector pin, and there's the specifications. Uh, you talk about uh, instructor Chad talking about the roundness. This is the uh, radius on here. It's a 0 .015 radius on the end of the ejector pin. Where do these things come from? These are the things that we'll talk about later on down the road. We may take one bulk carrier group and I'm going to go over all the specifications on why that bulk carrier group is built the way it is and the specifications for it. Shot peening. What areas on the bolt are actually to be shot peened versus the whole bolt? It's going to be a lot of fun. But anyway, to answer your questions, no, we're not going to pin gauge all these bolts. It's not what this series is all about. If you want to see that, go over to Instructor Chad. Uh, what else? That's it. Uh, we'll talk about some political stuff here in the near future, but uh, later on this evening, I'm going to go ahead and put out that uh, ACSSA cog. That thing was the cat's meow. Anyway, if you always end it like this, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless men, women, in uniform who support our Constitution as it was written by our founding fathers the original way. Not how these jackasses in D.C. and Maryland and Richmond interpret it. 24-7 for our freedom, because freedom's not free. I'm out of here. Y'all be good. If you got any questions, please don't hesitate and ask them down in the comment section below. And check out that set of drawings. It's pretty cool. Y'all be good.